Now, one of my favorite gaming consoles is the one that I can take with me no matter where I am, and that is my Steam Deck. This is a glorious machine when it comes to gaming, having such a large screen, having, again, the controllers, the overall experience, the type of games that you can play on this guy is pretty incredible. Uh, one of the challenges, though, and one of my wishes was to be able to use this in a larger screen format and to do it in a way that didn't compromise overall quality, performance, and also that gave me additional options. Like, for example, storage, because let's face it, getting additional storage on this is not the easiest. And I'd love to be able to have, check this out, terabytes. Yeah, you heard me right, terabytes of storage. Well, in today's video, we're going to be covering a solution, a docking station that's going to do those things. It checks all the boxes. Now, we're taking a look at this product right here that is a docking station for your Steam Deck. It basically not only does it provide video out, the 4K output that I was looking for, but it also gives me a max of four terabytes of storage. Uh, the fact that it supports NVMe uh, kind of memory or storage solutions. So in today's video, we're going to take a look at how this product works. We're going to see it in action. You're going to see it. I'm going to be running my Steam Deck on a 120-inch screen. That's crazy. 120-inch. And I'm going to be using a Bluetooth uh, game remote that I connect to my Steam Deck, and I basically have a gaming console. So if that's something that interests you, make sure you stick around. Let's go to check it out. So let's go ahead and talk about the specs. And one of the most significant features about this platform is the fact that you can have expanded memory storage. And really, that's going to be limited to your wallet, frankly. Four terabytes of storage is something that you can choose. And there are several NVMe types that you can choose. 2230, 2242, 2280, M.2s. There's just a lot of options here. And at the very bottom that you'll see of this uh, docking station, you can actually remove a part, and it's really easy to add additional memory. Now, the dock also provides extended connectivity. You have USB 3.2 Gen 2 type uh, Type C interfaces with up to 10 gigabits of, of throughput. That is something also that was really important. And this dock also provides you because in the back it has lots of connectivity. You're talking about gigabit Ethernet. You're talking HDMI 2.0, 4K 60 Hertz. And that is why I love the actual screen connectivity and why I have it connected to a 4K projector, giving me, again, fantastic image quality, even at 120 inches. You have optical out to get that enhanced audio, if that's something that you like to do. Several USB options, uh, USB 3.2 uh, Gen 2 Type-C, again, 10 gigabits, you have one. USB 3.2 Gen 2, 10 gigabits, USB 2 as well, you have one. PD 100 power, so that's great. So you will be able to power your Steam Deck and all the power it needs to be able to provide both that video quality and also uh, power the storage capabilities that you're going to have. Um, it does have a touchscreen, a really small touchscreen in the very front that you'll see as it lights up. And again, that touchscreen is not intended to be massive in size for gameplay, but it's an informational display that tells you information about, you know, your 4K uh, status, HDMI status, storage status, a lot of options that are going on within this dock. Now, the other thing that you have is extreme cooling. Now, I have been able to run, and in my test, running my Steam Deck on this device nonstop 24 hours to see if it overheated and the cooling system on this does a really nice job didn't really have any overheat uh, situations with it and again it's something that i uh, was able to push really hard and didn't see any issues with it it's quiet too so 28 db of noise and that is quieter than a library right uh, so good again overall performance and also keeping that heat is I'll tell you, it's the worst thing that can happen to any device. So just slow down your devices. Uh, upgradable via firmware as well. So that's nice. And again, this is super small. Check it out. This is a small device. So what we're going to do is I want to take a closer look at this device. We're also going to see it in action. You'll see all the connectivity we have. And I'll tell you, this is kind of like a no-brainer. If you have one of these and you're looking to expand it, get one of these. Let's get right to it. All right, so the very front of the dock, and this dock is being powered by the Steam Deck because of the actual connectivity it has, and you can see that it's drawing some power from it. The actual dock will give you an HDMI status, SSD status, DC status. You can swipe and you can see where you can turn things on and off, and you can see all the connectivity that's going on here, and also there's some controls, even your RGB light, fan connectivity system information as well. We'll come back. 
you have these RGB lights right here that they're not loud. They're more not like night lights, like night lights to me. Uh, so you saw in our setup, they don't really look very, uh, very distracting in any way. As we turn this around, you'll see all the ports that are going on in the back. In the back, we have a lot of connectivity. So basically, you have a power port at the very top, optical. LAN, two PDs, USB 2.0s. You then also have an additional connection here for HDMI, and then you have your host connection that goes into your Steam Deck. Pretty straightforward. On the bottom, you do have the memory, so that's where you put your NVMe, and it also it has some venting there to make sure that you know you don't run into any overheat situations. And the side as well has some nice venting with the power button there. This looks really, really good. I'm telling you, when I have it next to my entertainment system, it looks like an accessory to that entertainment system. So I think it's a great, um, again, visual add-on to my setup. Now, let me describe the setup, and this is really where this docking station solution for your Steam Deck really, really transforms the game. And I literally mean the game. What you see in front of you is a 120-inch uh, ultra short throw screen. So that's this is an ALR screen that I have in my studio. I have a projector sitting right there. And on the side right there, you'll see I have the actual dock and my Steam Deck inside of it. I'm controlling everything through this uh, Bluetooth remote. And it takes that large screen gameplay that you have on your Steam Deck. And I'll say large because, again, at the time, the Steam Deck was uh, one of the largest game decks that you'd find, portable game decks. And now what you see it here is on this super large screen. It really changes things completely when it comes to not only how do you play, but also how do you watch movies, how do you enjoy the system itself. It keeps it fully charged, which is also really nice. And then it also expands your storage capacity, which is also impressive. Uh, using, again, my remote here, I'm able to move around. And, you know, even if you don't have, and let's face it, not everyone's going to have 120 inch, 120 inch screen to play from. If you have a TV, if you have, you know, any other device, you know, display device, the power of this is that connected to an HDMI, you're going to be able to expand, again, your experience. I just want to show you, kind of, we're going to go ahead and, and look at this game that's going to be available next month. And look at how, or the kind of preview that you have. Now, it looks small, but that preview is around a 32-inch preview, right, that you're seeing on the side. Uh, remember, this also has optical out for audio. Uh, right now, it's going through HDMI, so if I had the volume on, you'd be able to hear all this stuff. But this really allows you and someone else to sit back and then just enjoy gaming the way uh, you would on a large console. This gives me an Xbox, a PlayStation, some of those large console game experiences, I get that by connecting to the dock. And then also we break the barrier of storage because it has the onboard storage. You're able to not have to worry about how much memory do I have left because you have that expandable storage that's inside of the dock. And the dock looks really cool too. I'm going to pan over to the dock so that you can see what this looks like, especially um, in a room that has a lot of RGB, but it looks really sharp too. Now, the cool thing about this solution is that you can see it right there. I'll try to see if I can get my finger in there. There, oops, right there. You have a very vivid display uh, that really highlights, again, what's going on. 4K output, you see the RGB lights lighting on the side, but it's not loud enough to where it bothers me. I also like that the screen turns off because I'm connected, and it basically becomes the, the actual game processor as opposed to being the game remote and the game display solution it just becomes one thing and let's face it this little guy here packs a punch when it comes to performance so you go from you know again looking at something that's right there to now something that is over here so we'll just zoom out so you can see what i'm talking about this is the kind of gaming experience now that you have especially because you have this docking station that's just expanding the overall experience so guys that wraps up our first look See you in the next video.